All right, this thing on. All right, let's do this. Hello, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy Jobs, and today we're gonna be playing more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we left off, Charlotte's old boyfriend sacrificed himself to save her life, and basically just uh passed on, passed on the youth goods to old Ryan. Guess we're about to go ahead and find out, eh? Let's get right on into it. I'm probably going to be quiet like usual or whatever because ah. Oh, well, I guess we're starting, we're off to a bright start. We are off to a good start. Yes, if a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Sir? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis. <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! It's moving! Oh. Are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat! Immediately! The Mekonis is about to awaken! Damn it! I was counting on you, runt. Runt? Who the hell are you calling a runt, Dixon? What's happening? It's like we're floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Maynus, you have awakened once more. This light, was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Maynus, where's Fiora? It's okay. I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado. Saved us. Now he's. The Mechonis! Where's Hegel? Shulk! Do you hear it? The awakening of the Mechonis! This is my pain. The pain of my people, echoing through the millennia. Fall to your deaths, worthless insects! Stop this! Kalyan and the others are still on the sword! Our friends are going to die! Stop! Oh my god! Monster is gonna pay! Uh, uh, Atharon! Fiora? <sighs> Sorry, I can't. 
do it. Fiora! Whoa! Where are we? <laughs> that was a close one, but we made it. <laughs> Alvis, you are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. Hey! Ah, what a stroke of luck! You're still alive! Dixon! Did you really have to jump on Ryan like that? Dickhead, okay. <laughs> So you were unable to stop Egil. <sighs> Sorry, Father. I have failed you, Venere. There's no need to apologize. <sighs> so, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Egil's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Maconis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother, there is still time. Fiora? No, you're... It's Maynest. So it is her. The Mekonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. There is still time before the Mekonis fully adapts to the ether. Egil is at the core of the Mekonis. He will be controlling the Mekonis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Mekonis. But how are we to get there? The Mekonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mekonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. Dixon? Uh, you know, this sounded really ominous when just you now. To depart for the Maconis, <laughs> let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the... There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hand, Shulk. I know. Hello? 
You, you really wanna make sure that man is to be stopped, but man, hey, Egil is doing everything he can to ensure justice for the Machina. That two shops after one after the other, huh? First, let's uh, read some of these books. All right, now let's check out these arts. Let's level up spare break.
Uh, do I have enough here? Let's uh, basically get, yeah, we'll, we'll do this based on rank. Yeah, we need that spike defense. Everybody in the mom has spike nowadays. Wait, you have a freaking quest for me?
Jesus. Oh my, lending a hand. <laughs> He stopped growing. I think you like me, huh? Wow, oh, ass kisser. Okay. You know, I am very tempted to go ahead and do these quests. You want to know why I'm tempted to do these quests? Because I feel like the moment I agree to uh, take off for Mechanis, for that big guy up there, well, it ain't gonna end well. It just ain't gonna end well for me. Mainly because I get the quest and I will not be able to uh, complete the quest. I'm not gonna be able to complete the quest. Not, not unless I keep them there. Wait, right, let me change Charlotte's equipment too. We'll go back to what she had. Let's put the torso. Marking a rifle three. Yeah, I'm sticking to the mic on the rifle. 
probably a fallen arm quest, actually. If it was a mechanic quest, I don't think they would have gave it to me. Not that I think. I mean, when you think about it. So let's do this real fast. Because I know they're going to leave junks. I can't see them staying here. Not here. Are you coming for me? Okay, okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, well, this ain't happening. Surely they wouldn't try to fight us, right? I mean... We're too high level. Yeah, of course not. They wouldn't even dare try to kill us. Oh my god, what the hell? There's a hot to hurt here. Uh. Dang. Agnorithia is dead. Oh, gone. Well, then. <laughs> well, this is, um...
Ah, uh, looks like I can't explore any of uh, Macon. I mean, uh, Macanus right now. Not even Ignorita. Especially not Ignorita. I mean, not, especially not Ignorita. We just watched that place get destroyed. Amelia, any time. Give me that. Oh, I discovered digit four. I thought that was an opening. Golden beetroot, yeah. Oh, fifty five. Now, where was I? Artillery. The enemy's weak. Here we go. I want to go for your own. I can do it. 
Come here. We've definitely gotten stronger. Cool. Let's keep this up. Ah, take this. There's no end to them. It's not good enough. No. Beautiful job. Everyone, let's go. Okay. Just one more left. There we go. Right, let's keep going. Quality jet. We find puts. Hmm? What am I locking on to here? The enemy's weak. But don't drop your guard! Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. This should be easy. Now! Everyone ready for a chain attack? Yeah, sometimes you've got to get wild. Thunder bullets! Three men! Yeah. 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 Alright, I'm big, yeah! Yo. That was great! Everyone, let's go! There we are. Let's keep on going like there we go. That was nice. Well, considering how what level I'm on and what level they're on, if they actually chart the run, then uh, that's a good thing. That's usually a good sign. Another meteor artillery unit. Mechon Max. Still gonna collect these things. Kill fucking everyone. Damn, Tia Savage! Alright, so, what else do I need to kill actually? Kalem Wolf and Lilipago Petrix. I think the pterodactyls are what, they, what I gotta kill. And the Wolfs are the wolf, wolf looking things. Eloqua. Okay, gotta be kinda hard. Lot, five lots of Crabble Back Moth from all those Crabbles. Alright, so I don't need to fight you. Uh, where am I gonna find those vault things, though? 
Unless... Unless... Huh. Tremor Wisp... Unless they're at the... What, they're up here? I get the index finger of the thing. I need it to be daytime. I'm pretty sure they're only out at day. Yeah, I remember having to go this way. I remember it quite clear. This led to Mechanis. Of course, now that the Mechanis is... Now that the Mechanis is moving, I'm not going to be able to go there. So that is a, going to be a very wasted trip. Very much so. Digit two. That digit one. Four. I don't think I ever went to digit three. Now where am I? There we go. I think I might be good. Oh, will you stop? I don't want to kill those things. At least destroy them. Alright. I can... Alright, so... Yeah, I never went that way. I know I didn't. This is digit three. Every digit is a finger. Off the fallen arm. Every freaking digit. I'm going on another finger. Yay, Digit 3, now what can I find to kill here unless there's going to be things that I clearly cannot be fighting here. Alright, clearly not there. Okay, Digit 4. Where's the Digit 5, I think? Digit one is uh... Nope, that's Lamp Ponyo. All the Lamp Ponyos. Dang it! Give me that! Heart to heart for your Amelia! <laughs> Can I fight you? And should I try? Like, that's a real important question here, folks. Should I try? The fact that I'm asking if I should try probably means I should not be trying. I have no business trying to fight that thing. Fighting that thing is a bad time waiting to happen. I will not let myself die, but I can't kill these kill these things, huh? Why am I fighting, I mean, fighting the mechanical rhythm? Oh, 
Uh, you picked the wrong people to mess with. No, seriously, you did. We've definitely gotten stronger. Cool. Let's keep this up. Last one. One more. One freaking more. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quick. This should be easy. One after another. One. What a pop! Another one. Another two. Good job, all. Let's press on and on and on. Cool. You did. <laughs> Dang, you did. <laughs> Alright, so, one more. One more set of uh, enemies to kill. And that'll be... Lepargo Petrix. I'm pretty sure it's those pterodactyl looking things. This one is uh, from McConaughey's Field. I don't know where I would get those things. Alright, so... Can I find those Crabble here? This is a heart to heart. <gasps> Let me save because I don't know how to do these heart to hearts. And I'm gonna get some hearts lower on it. Just like old times. <laughs> Absolutely. If you think it's something I can help with, I mean. Yes, it has to be you. This sounds important. What are you gonna need me to do? Well, whenever I get my wee body back. Never mind. It's fine. She wants the D, bro. Oh, is there something special you want to do? Yeah, I want to come back here and hang out with you. It'll be great. Will you come come with me? I'd love to. Well, it would really be nice to come here again. Oh, it'll be wonderful, Shook. We'll see the beautiful shore once again. It just dawn morning. I've thought about it too. <laughs> <laughs> we could all come here together as soon as we finish fighting. Y you mean with the others? Well, yeah, if you like. What do I pick? There's something wrong for you, huh? You look a little upset. Oh my god! This conversation! Shulk, you stupid! 
Oh, can you, you can't take a hint, can you? I meant just the two of us. Oops, uh, sorry. Yes, oops indeed. When are you going to realize a lady needs careful attention? Sorry, Fiora. I'll bear that in mind from now on. Um, I know this one. I would be honored if you, Fiora, would accompany here me, accompany me with me here again. Mm, I'll give you seven out of ten. Nice try, though. But yeah, that's a pass, though. Next time, you'd better bowl me over with a, with a ten out of ten out of ten. What? Uh, well, well, okay. I'll do my best to put out a big smile on that beautiful face of yours. Oh God! Ah! Uh, hey, Amelia, are you are you crying your heart out yet? Are you hurting yet? You hurting yet, Melia? Huh? Huh? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get... The enemy's weak! But don't drop your guard! These things freak me out. This one's all guns blazing. Backslash! Fiora! Glad you're up, Fiora! Are you hurt? Tell me you're okay. Uh, I'm here too, you know. Stick shell, crabble back moss. The enemy's weak! But don't drop your guard! Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. This is easy. We can definitely do this! We're the best! Okay, let's get going. We've definitely gotten stronger. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard! This one's all guns blazing. This should be easy. Dang! One more, one more! Nice and quick. Do something special when you get your body back. I think what Avon was asking was, what's wrong with her current body right now? And I'm going to ask, I mean, I'm going to say, well, her body is very robotic. Uh, most of her organs got taken out when she got, uh, you know, when she became a part robot android thing. Fucking hell, man! Give me my last thing. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This should be easy. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quick. Just a little more. Manado, lend us your power. That's it. Nicely done. Everyone, let's go. Come on, one now. All right, I'm feeling it. Are you hurt? Tell me you're okay. Yes! As she is now, she is robotic. 
she's got that robot thing going on. those things anyway. I would like to believe that maybe, maybe I could encounter one around here somewhere. Because I know I saw him. You are. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Ah, Flid. Let's sort this out nice and quickly. This should be easy. It was around here. Definitely around here. thing was up here somewhere I could have sworn I saw it there you are I just saw you I see you I see you come on the enemy's weak but don't drop your guard this should be easy okay let's sort this out nice and quickly come on Oh, it got away. I need to toss a rock at it to bring it on down. That's the only way I'm going to fight it. Why am I actually chasing these things? Fuck. Why do I have to chase it down? Come on. boy now I doubt another one's gonna come by so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, change the time again I'm gonna change the time tonight strategy and now we got it back we're back to normal time. Hopefully whatever died before should should respawn. Theoretically. Enemies should respawn. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I I think the bird will respawn. And I can kill it again. And I can get that quest finally over with. And when I'm done. When I'm freaking done. I could go and travel to the Mechanis. The living, breathing Mechanis. And hopefully I can finally jam a sword at the Aegil now. Huh. 
The man may only want justice. And I actually admire the guy for that. I admire Egil for wanting justice for his people. Hell, I'd probably be doing the same shit. I mean, I applaud him for his actions. For going the extra mile for his people. But he's still killing my people as well. He's still killing Homs. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and stab him for that. He wants justice. I want justice. Our two forms of justice are gonna have to go into conflict. So... Unfortunately, he's got to die. At least that's what I intended to do. I want to kill the man. Hmm? Ah, fled. I got an idea. I go to junk. And then I go back. I go to Junks and then I go back here. Yeah, it's a real fight for justice by that point. Yeah, seriously, when you think about it. Yeah, I can actually see him moving. That's a really nice touch. I gotta give the game devs props. There's no end to them. Not good enough. Nicely done. Everyone, let's go. Backslash. Okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. That's my job. You can get one, two, copy. That's the data. So tired. And that's the end of it. Yay, the junks. I know I completed the quest, so... Yeah, there go these people. That's one. No pun intended, my ass. Hidden quest? Hidden quest. Never mind. I thought it was hidden quest. It's not hidden quest. It could have been a hidden quest, but it's not. Uh, who gave me that quest again? The, the other... Oh, the moss. Yeah, yeah. E, e, e. In the spaceship. That's the Nia, that's the legs. Ain't the guy upstairs, I thought. Yes. You, Voltak. Oh. 
broken Macon. Broken. So... Eloquine. Uh, sick. Shop, shop, shop. Uh, what the hell is this? What the hell is this person? Like, Jesus Christ. You gave me a mission and you just gotta fuck off. Don't, don't fuck off on me, man. I, I did a job for you. I did a freaking job. I'll expect compensation. Where are you? I want my money. I want my money, man. Give me my money. I want my money, man. So I kind of forgot where I found this person. Shit. <laughs> Right, she's in junks. I must have gotten this quest way earlier than I intended, so... Natalia, yo, okay, you come out at night. You're, you're out at night, so that means I have a better chance of finding you anywhere else in this place. Joy. Please. You want a bombs body? For the love of Um
The little clock. I'm guessing that's a time limit. Protect the village. <laughs> First off, I already found it a little far fetched that you want to be a freaking Homs. But hey, whatever floats your boat. I mean, if they can return Fiora to her body, then. whatever works. And this place is raining beyond belief. On top of that, uh, I really ought to get on with the story. What do you guys think? Do I, should I just get on with the story, or do do or should I proceed with these quests? Because it looked like I might be able to complete these quests at a later date. Go to the Mekana's core. I'll have to come back to the Mekana. I mean, I get to go back. But this will be the last time I get to find it. I'm just gonna save. God dang it. Yes. That's not where who I wanted to talk to. Let's go. Yeah, let's get on with it. Wow, it goes so away a while. Do my eyes deceive me? The Mekonis is moving. Boy, you! I'm warning you! You better not drop me! Let me go, and you'll be doing sit-ups for the rest of your life! Yes, Colonel! Well, assuming you're alive to even give him the order, you little shit. Let's go! We're gonna stick it to Egil. Venea! I am sorry for Lady Maynard's will to be realized. I had no choice but to use your body. Even so, actually I'm grateful. Thanks to this body, I got to see Shulk and the others again. <laughs> Where is Lady Maynath now? Shall I call her? She is usually asleep. Maybe she just doesn't want to disturb me. It's an unusual feeling. Two hearts in one body. It's not every day you get to experience something like this. I see. That is a great relief. It's as if I can see into our heart. We each know what the other's thinking, but it's strange. It feels like there's a part of my heart that's hidden. It's the part that holds Manus' feelings. An 
and I can't see them. Maybe it's only natural. Everyone has one or two secrets, right? But I know how much she cares about this world. That's why I'm happy to let her use my body. Fiora, I think Lady Mayneth is glad that she met you. Yeah, I know. Good news from His Highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Glad to hear it. That's great news. All areas are being prepared for evacuation. We can only hope they make it. We won't let them down. This is one fight we can't afford to lose. Here upon Ricky, all set. Ricky, bound some heads. We'll go with you. Can't beat strength in numbers. Really? You're a tough old-timer. What's this? The old fossil wants to tag along. As long as you don't slow us down. Uh, let's see who makes it through that battle. Wait, 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 Aven, Aven. He normally doesn't wear an eye patch. Just throwing it out there. He normally does not wear an eye patch. It's the armor. It's the freaking armor. Just saying that, Aven. Let you know right now his character is on cue. But this does make him look like a pirate. Here. So I kept the eye patch and I didn't care. Ready. Anytime. Leave it to Hiropon Ricky. <sighs> hey, Shulk. What is it this time? Stop worrying and come on. The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You're talking about that apocryph, whatchamacallit thing. Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. The core is directly linked to the Apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the Apocrypha field will deactivate, allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. Oh, Shulk, did you hear that? <laughs> Looks like you'll get your wish. Something's not right. What? Egil. He called me Zanza. The same Zanza who... devastated Mechonis. What did he mean? He was just trying to get to you. I told you before, right? I haven't had any visions lately. Yeah? But I still know... If I concentrate... I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. <gasps> what are you on about, Shulk? Stop playing around. Oh. But... How did you do that? I can't work it out. Ever since we came to Mechonis, my abilities have been changing. Why would that happen? <gasps> if it's true that Zanza used the Monado to lay waste to Mechonis, then... Is it right for me to use it? Is what I'm trying to do really the right thing? Shulk! Shulk! 
control of the Monado has always been flawless. It never crossed my mind that this would happen to you too. Are you sure you're okay? Perhaps you are suffering this much because you put all your energy into fighting the effect of the Apocrypha. Ain't you learnt yet, Shulk? How many times do I have to tell you? If something's up, you've got to spit it out, man. I ain't just talking about visions. I mean, whatever's on your mind. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Don't go apologizing. It's my fault for not noticing. Let's get one thing straight. I've still got your back. Uh, thanks. No. Huh? Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. This wasn't caused by the Apocrypha. It's a completely different kind of power. Shulk. What's happening to me? Oh no! I know I should be glad we made it this far, but if we don't find the Apocrypha generator soon... Exactly. The fight against Egil's not going to be easy with the Monado in its current state. And we don't know what kind of toll it'll take on Shulk's body. We have to destroy that generator. It's up ahead. Shulk? There's a I think it just missed the screaming. <laughs> that has to be it. Really? Yes. Then this is it. Egil's gonna be scrap metal when I'm through with him. A's out of my body. Oh. I need to be even stronger. All right, let's proceed. Oh fuck, that's a death trap waiting to happen. Let's not jump down there and die. Angel Engine X.
I see the core. <laughs> ah! No! Zanza! Zanza! Oh shit! Zanza took over Choke's body when he powered up the Monado! Zanza, that fucking purple piece of crap! <laughs> we can't lose. I don't want anyone dying out there. Please fight me. I'm not Come doing this. It's just as I thought. The Monado <laughs> feels the same as it did before the Apocrypha took effect. No. It feels even more powerful. The Bionis Monado and this Monado, they have to be connected. Somehow. Because you aren't here. Not anymore. Why am I remembering that dream? Why now? Without the power, I can't stop Egil. I have to concentrate. All I have to think about is how to stop the Mechonis. If the Monado does bring about the end, then I know what to do. Fiora! Shulk, what were you thinking about? Uh, <laughs> nothing. So... It's like that, is it? Really, it's nothing. Listen, Shulk. If it's too hard for you to handle on your own, talk to me. Huh? Fiora... You can tell any of the others as well. We're all here for you. Don't forget that. You're right. You're here for me. Of course. And don't overdo it, okay? We all saw what happened. Is your arm okay? Yeah. 
It's not bad. I'll live. Oi! You two! Is something up? No! It's nothing. Come on. Mm hmm Shulk. You can... <sighs> this machine is this? Yes. The Apocrypha Generator. Yeah, let's trash the thing. We take this out and it's plain sailing for Shulk. It should be. It is a miracle that you have been able to use the Monado at all. Hear that? <sighs> Are you really all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Venea, we need to find Egil. The control core is directly above. It is not far. You mean? The Mechonis functions have been restored. No, it can't be. Yes, you puny pests are too late. Fall back! Everyone fall back! He's gone and done it. Huh? The Mechonis has struck. Not good. I think it must have hit somewhere on Bionis. No. No. Move out! Don't forget, we've still got a job to do. Right! Uh, what? Oh god. God, I love this music. God, I hate this music. Great laser. Sorry. Good to go. Double blade. Thunder ah. blade. Ah. Ah. All right, I'm feeling it. Now we can definitely do this. One, two, three, four. Oh well, that sure happened. Give me some space! Heal round! Fiora, we're all 
with you. Backslash. Now we're working this one right. What's next? We can definitely do this! Let's keep up the pressure! It'd be nice if it was always like this. Ah. My laser! Ah. You're in the middle! Now you power! Ah. One, two, cross it! Backslash! We're starting to look like a team! The best team ever! Now! How could it win? Yeah! Catch the blade! One will hurt even more. Shara! Nice one! We can do it. <laughs> Chew on that, a pocket, whatever. We did it, Shulk. Shulk. Oi. What the hell is this? Oh boy! And his Monado grew ten sizes that day! What's happened to the Monado? It must have changed just as the generator was destroyed. It's amazing! Now we're talking. Next up, Egil. Can you go on? Me? I'm alright. Come on. We have to stop Egil. Back on track. Just like I said. The kid'll come through. Naturally. Everything is falling into place. Eh. <laughs> you can say that again. But only as long as we remain within the margins of fate. I know not how things will proceed from this point. Elvis! Monado Cyclone! So, you worms have finally arrived. Egil! Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace! There's no reason for us to fight! You must stop this now! My reasons are clear! and truer than yours. What's that? Look, it's Bionis. May the roar of the Maconis be the wrath of my people. How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands. Egil, you'll regret this. Brother, stop this. You'll destroy the Bionis. Let us put an end to our torment. It ends when I say it ends. I will end our curse by destroying the world. You must realize that is not Lady Maynard's wish. That's why she left us her legacy, our whole world. Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need for gods. Egil! Stop it! Face me, Shulk, successor of Xanza. I'll crush the Bionis and spread its ashes across the world. Then I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then. Will there be peace?
God, that's what it is. Everyone, let's go. How strange! All right, I'm feeling it. Oh God. Let's keep up the pressure. Backslash. Definitely do this! Minato, lend us your power! There we go! I was a big idiot until I realized that at that last second, and I almost died.
incredible. Whoa. Oh no, it's Zed! Kill him. Kill him. That voice. Who is that? Strike him down. Oh my god, it's Palpatine! I'll kill him. A thousand times. Yes, finish him. End Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't fall to the dark side! Yes, I want to. I'll kill him. For Fiora. For the Emperor. For my Fiora's alive, you numb nuts! You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap Did you for brain! Kill a Homs to beat us! I you to kill. I once wished only to I break the I'll circle of suffering. Until I've he believed each and every one of you! Maynard, the villagers, the everyone loved you. Every person. Yes. That is why they Finish wished him. to live alongside End you. It. The way it is what so you clear. want. To Maynard and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! No! Is he dead? Oh, he's not dead yet. Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know, but I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade, and I'll do it. Over and over again until we understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Egil, why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never, Never contemplated, contemplated what lies beyond, beyond this world. world. Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Mekonis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But, but what, what lies, lies beyond, beyond that? that? We, we are, are still, still young, young and unable, unable to leave the Bionis or the Mekonis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds. Worlds we have never imagined. By strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Egil, I wish to see. That the people of Bionis and the people of Mekonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas.
Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done, were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Maconis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. A giant purple old man. And one day, it took control of my friend Arglas, and he became Zanza. It was Arglas possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't Arglas. understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Maynath? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. Shot him. Dixon? Huh. You shouldn't have done that. Little brat. Dixon? Dixon? Dixon's the traitor? Dixon is a motherfucking traitor! Why does every one of Dunban's friends have to be traitors? <laughs> I don't believe this shit. <laughs> Saving progress. Dixon is that old man who just shot Salt, man. Damn. Dixon been popping in and out. He been popping up here and there. Dixon, why? Oi! Old man! Are you completely out of your mind? Ah, don't you kids ever shut up. I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's disciple. Zanza's disciple? Eggle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. Oh god, look at Shulk, he's having convulsions! Of Lord Zanza's return. Shulk! Get away from him! No! Ah! Zanza! 
I won't let you do this! Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. Oh my god! Time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. You know... Predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ose Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shock to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I'd be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us! All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that Grunt Gaddo's miserable demise. All of it. Evil! Yeah! <laughs> There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Maynith, the Maconis! Oh shoot, the Bionis is awakening now! Bionis. Uh, 
Hurry on these moves! Uh. I've been waiting. Waiting for this day. Sansa! Brother! Stop! You're too weak! I don't care. I will gladly sacrifice myself to eliminate Xanda. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us, or for the people of Bionis. You know, I think they've been foreshadowing all of this, that the Monado is actually evil. By the wrath of my blade! Oh shit, look at that Monado! Oh shit! Could that be Monado 3? The meaning of <laughs> the battle wages again! It's finished! could put their differences aside! Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right, now! Yeah! How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned! Finally unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. She has a Monado as well? The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided. I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Xanza, if you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! Oh shit! Her Monado has awakened! Is, mine, is that all you've got? I feel stronger. Ah! You're mine! Oops! <laughs> I feel like I could beat anyone! Is that all you've got? Ah! Ah! Your energy is mine. He Take this. Energy. Everything's gone blurry. <laughs> is that all you've got? Oh, double blade. <laughs> uh, I can do it. I know I can. Is that all you've got? Uh, <laughs> is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? Uh, drain. You're mine. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Damn, I'm playing as Fiora. This is actually pretty fun. What the? Your energy is mine. That's 
something wrong? Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god. And you talk of sharing this world with me. So that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria clinging to my body. They are living beings. If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god. Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god made of it. May you rot in that shell for all eternity! Fiora! Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Such a fool. This is what I wish. This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. Is the passage of fate. He's got two Monados now! Two Monados! Two Monados! Yeah. He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. <laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation! Prison Island! <laughs> oh no! your feelings leave it to us we know what we must do we will do all we can for the people of Maconis now go Shulk can still be saved do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished thank you go in peace let's go we're leaving the Maconis Ryan, take care of Shulk. Got it. Ah, uh, you okay? Yes.
Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go. Thundern, what about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone! Goodbye, my brother. Oh boy. I'm sure there's gonna be a boss to block my way. I'm looking at the chat and I fell. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at the freaking chat because I... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to meet what you guys are talking about. You guys are talking about the plot and all, so... And then I look away for a second and then I fall. <laughs> Am I going? Yeah, I'm going this way. I think I'm here. I'm going this way. That's the junk ship. Oh, for fuck's sake! I thought I was supposed to talk to you to get out of here! I didn't mean to take on another quest! A new weapon? Oh! Control tower in the central factory. Control tower in the central factory. Do I really want to go back and do this? Do I really want to go back and do this? <laughs> Can I? Do I even have time? Do I even fucking have time to do this? The weapon isn't worth it. Ignore it. Oh, for please sake. We gotta take it all the way fucking back to the dude McConnors without landmarks anyway. No better weapons. Ah, well, whatever. God dang it. You know what? I'll do it in another file. I mean, I got another file for this, so whatever. Alright, let me talk to Fatty here. Stop 
than mortals. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives. Even when there is no hope for you! Don't you ever give up! Never. But hear this, Danza. They will judge me not in life, but death. Yeah. Oh! To be honest, it's going to kill the Mechonis for good. No wonder I can't go back to Mechonis ever. Mechonis literally dies. Shulk. For both our worlds, you must succeed, lady. I'm going to go ahead and say I found Egil to be very sympathetic. He went through this entire crusade of wanting to kill everyone to stop this ominous-sidal maniac. He wanted justice for his people because this ominous-sidal maniac wanted to kill everyone on the Mechonis. He wanted to destroy the Mechonis and now he's working on killing the Bionis as well. He's working on Killing everyone on Bionis, just so he can have enough energy to re restore the world. Look, starboard. What's that cloud? What the hell are you? It's Telethia. Telethia. Now? Uh, you're not getting away. Dixon! Oh, we have to kill this guy now. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough. Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you. Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this. Ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Egil said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple. Dixon of the Trinity! So how the hell am I supposed to kill this thing without the Monado?
Oh, god dang it. And I'm binded. How am I supposed to kill this thing? <laughs> We're not getting anywhere. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> you waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? <sighs> Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you alright? Oh, it's Melia's brother, Callion! Callion! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right, Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming, but it is also. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. Oh, for fuck's sake, how many traitors? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorothea! Awaken, my darling pet! Oh no! Hyatia's ships were Telethia all along! They are... Telethia! Misunderstand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself. It's just like she says. The High oh. and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Brother? Word right, she's a half harms. We need a half breed like you anyway. I mean, being half harms. If you turn into a Telethia, it just means you're going to get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pets! Do my bidding! Kill your lovely sister! Brother! Oh, God. I always placed such a heavy burden on you. Don't say such things, brother! But at least I can still shoulder the destiny of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <laughs> Ah, 
Wow! Brother! Melia! Father's wish and the future of the High Entia are in your hands. Yours and Shulk's! <gasps> Telethia! Destroy him! Dixon! I got it! Too late! Damn him! Oh, well, Lavithia is dead. Brother! Damn! Damn, so many people died today! Ugh. So many people! Oh, man! Even Shulk's dead! No! Shulk's been dead all along! He's practically been a corpse! Oh god! What now? Where am I? Oh, so I'm... <laughs> what was I doing? What was the purpose of my life? I've got it wrong. I was never alive. It was Zanza. All along. I... Everything I did was... Do you want Damn. to say... Pointless? <laughs> that voice. Nobody else can decide that. Oh boy, it's Kalu. Only you. Talk to Shulk's body if Melia. Uh huh. Okay, I'll do that, Moose. Talk to Shulk's body if Melia. Is he bleeding? Shulk. Here. Mikol made you a wonderful new weapon. Since you lost your Monado, I mean. It uses the latest Machina technology. Use it when you wake up. Then, let's all go on living. We've relocated the Hyentia and the Nopon refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body, the Bionis. Well, this is our home. Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyentia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part Homs like me. 
Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Kallion would leave the fate of the Hyentia to you if that was going to happen. Precisely. And Melia, if we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once High Entia. Your subjects and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the soul stolen by Zanza. You're a fighter, Melia. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. How shook. He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. What if the Telethia attack? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanza. It is Zanza's will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. Whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Homs. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting, not till the end. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. <sighs> Fiora. <sighs> Sorry. I need to go and get some air. Hmm. <sighs> Shock, mm. why do you? Another is looking. I must stop saying. Uh huh. How are you? Okay.
Uh-huh. Oh, I'm at Colony 6 now. Oh, Lenata's there. Oh, okay. I got to set a time, time when she's gone. Okay. So basically, I got to wait for Lenata to be gone. Ow! Confessions of some of a corpse. She tried to kiss him! Alright! Well, um... Well, that, that was, uh... That sure was something. Go ahead and end the stream on that kind of note. You scandalous hussy, you! Oh, Melia, you scandalous little something! You scandalous little high end to your girl. Woo wee! Anyway, uh, um, well, um, after all of that, after all of that really uh, dramatic, heavy, and quite frankly sad moments and intensity, I mean, in yeah, tension's running high. We we got we got all of the embarrassing, heartwarming bit from Melia here, leaving her to be all uh be all crazy about Shulk. <laughs> no. Anyway, this will be your boy Jump signing out. I'm I'm probably gonna stream more tomorrow. I'm hoping to stream more tomorrow. Yeah. This is, yeah.